With the week coming to an end, we're back again to take a look at the top tech stories that happened this past week. Story number one, Microsoft Teams gets an update. Microsoft is updating the Teams app to make it faster and simpler to use, describing it as a reimagining of Teams from the ground up, and guaranteeing that the updated program will run twice as fast while consuming only half the memory and 70% less disk space, which sounds like significant performance upgrades. In response to consistent negative feedback about Teams being slow or problematic, Microsoft knew it had to make severe upgrades to improve the overall user experience. To accomplish this, the company claims to have optimized the team's data, network, chat, and video architecture. The update also includes more AI-enabled functions. If you're used to meetings where hands are still raised after a question has been asked, Microsoft is now enhancing this experience by automatically lowering hands after the speaker has finished speaking. Additionally, Whiteboard will now support pasting loop components to increase collaboration on the canvas. AI-powered video filters are also coming to Microsoft Teams, with a number of animated frames and the ability to change your video's hue in presentations. Microsoft has already detailed its plans for Copilot and Teams, where you'll be able to invite the AI assistant into group chats to perform tasks like schedule meetings, or it will show up in meetings and chats on the sidebar to help with tasks like summarization, recaps, or general questions. The business chat function of Copilot will also exist in Teams as a chatbot that you can use as a personal assistant to pull data and information from across Microsoft 365 services and apps. Microsoft's new Teams client is available in preview mode while the company gathers feedback before rolling it out more broadly later this year. Story number two, tech leaders call for pause on AI. Over 1,400 tech leaders, including Elon Musk, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, and Pinterest co-founder Evan Sharp have signed an open letter calling on artificial intelligence developers to pause training on some of their more sophisticated AI experiments, citing risks they claim could result in loss of control of our civilization. The letter, published by the Future of Life Coalition on Wednesday, comes at an unprecedented period of growth for AI, which has garnered significant attention in recent months thanks to chatbots like ChatGPT, image generators like Dolly2 and MidJourney, and voice cloning software. The letter suggests that the current AI development race may be reckless and lack consideration of unexpected consequences for society, such as the spread of misinformation or the replacement and obsolescence of human jobs. The letter asks that developers pause testing for any technology stronger than the recently released GPT-4 for at least six months, and they should also create more robust safety protocols that would ensure their AI developments are rigorously audited and overseen by independent outside experts. Story number three, Apple Pay Later. Apple finally launched Apple Pay Later, making it much easier to justify treating yourself to shopping splurges. The Buy Now Pay Later service allows users to split payments into four installments over the course of six weeks, with no interest or fees. Apple Pay Later was initially announced at WWDC last year and was expected to come with the iOS 16 update, but it was hampered by technical and engineering challenges. As of today, the service is available to randomly selected users and will continue to roll out to more users in the coming months. Story number four, Google's plan to rival GitHub. Google is striking a partnership to combine its artificial intelligence language models with software from startup Replit Inc. that helps computer programmers write code, a bit to compete with a similar product from Microsoft's GitHub and OpenAI. Replit's Ghostwriter, which has 20 million users, will rely on Google's language generation AI to improve its ability to suggest blocks of code, complete programs, and answer developer questions. Google Cloud Vice President Jun Yang declined to specify which language AI products Replit will use, noting that it's a customized combination of systems that address different tasks like chat and code generation. Story number five, Twitter open sources their code. Twitter announced on Friday that it's open sourcing the code behind the recommendation algorithm the platform uses to select the contents of the user's For You timeline. However, the code made public doesn't include parts behind advertising recommendations, as that would endanger Twitter's ability to keep threat actors' attempts to manipulate the platform under control. Twitter has published two separate GitHub repositories containing the source code for its recommendation algorithm and some of the machine learning models powering it. As the company's engineering team revealed, tweets that end up in the For You timeline are chosen by a service known as Home Mixer that uses the following pipeline. First, it fetches the best tweets from different recommendation sources in a process called candidate sourcing. Second, it ranks each tweet using a machine learning model, 
And third, applies heuristics and filters, such as filtering out tweets from users you've blocked, not safe for work content, and tweets you've already seen. The end goal is for each user's For You timeline to show 50% of relevant and recent tweets coming from their followers and the other 50% coming from people not in their network based on what the user would find interesting. That's a quick wrap up for the week. Come back again next weekend to recap this upcoming week's top tech news stories and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.